So in today's class, uh, we'll be uh, giving the introduction to the Selenium. So we'll be seeing uh, what is Selenium and the uh, history of Selenium project, and what are the different uh, tools that are available for the Selenium. Mm -hmm. So the uh, first thing is what is Selenium. So as we know that Selenium is a one of the automation tool that is used for the web-based application. It is a web-based automation testing tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one more thing, it is an open source suit. Okay. It is not a paid version or licensed version. It is an open source tool, mainly used for functional and regressional test automation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the automation, uh, in, the day of, in the day one class, I uh, have explained, explained you complete thing about automation, right? So there I have told you about a functional, non-functional, and regressional the smoke, uh, smoke test cases. Okay, so here uh, mainly it is used for functional and regressional test automation, and it supports on the diff um, uh, it supports on the different uh, operating systems. Okay, like uh, Microsoft Windows, Linux, and uh, Mac OS, and it is supporting for the multiple browsers also. Okay, so it is providing a vast uh, a wide variety of uh, usability for the uh, features for the users. So, where users uh, can uh, utilize uh, these features, like suppose thing that uh, if you want to run some few few of the tools are there, okay, few of the tools are there where they are uh, only respective with the with the browser, so some respective browsers itself, okay. So if you are running on the Google Chrome, you, you can't run on the Firefox. Okay, those are the some of the restrictions are there. But for the Selenium, there is no restrictions. For Selenium web driver, there is no restrictions for that. So you can run on the any browser that you want. Okay, but you have to have the browser driver, as I told you in the previous class. Okay, mm -hmm. we have to have the browser driver. So here also Selenium ID, we have one um, suit, Selenium ID, that only runs on the Mozilla Firefox. Okay, that is the drawback of the Selenium ID, okay, not the web driver. So what we are seeing now is uh, Selenium web driver, okay. So Selenium supports for various programming environments to write the programming test scripts, okay. So as we know the, uh, as we know already, we have, we can write our Selenium script in the various programming languages. Around 13 plus language, uh, programming languages, the programming, the scripting is supported in the, for the Selenium, like Java, C hash, Python, Perl, okay, PHP, those mm -hmm. things. So uh, when, it, when it comes to the history of a Selenium project, okay, so it is basically introduced in the year of 2004 by the Jason Huggins, okay. So in, in 2006, they made some modification and uh, they launched the Selenium web driver, okay, at the Google uh, platform. In uh, 2008, the whole Selenium team decided to merge few of the features of the Selenium project. So they have released it like uh, Selenium 1 and Selenium 2. So they, what they did, they have merged Selenium IDE, Selenium OS, RC, and Selenium Grid into the one version, that is Selenium 1. And when we have a uh, Selenium 2, okay, here you have merged with Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, Selenium web driver and Selenium grid. Okay, mm -hmm. all these four things are merged under the Selenium 2. Selenium 2. So we have the different flavors of the Selenium itself, or a test tools suit that we call it as Selenium IDE, RC, web driver, and grid. Okay, so let us see one by one. So the first thing is Selenium IDE. It is a Firefox browser plugin used to create and execute the test cases in the Selenium IDE features. What is it? It is a Fire, is a Firefox browser plugin that is used to create and execute test cases in the Selenium IDE in the Selenium IDE for the Firefox. So it is only supported for the Firefox. Here you can create the test cases, test suits, and we can record the test cases and type the test steps. Okay, using the locators okay. and Selenium Selenium commands. Okay. okay, these are all we can do, like edit the test cases, okay, execute the test cases, and debug it, and enhance our test cases, and export test cases to other formats, like uh, Java and Ruby. Okay. 
and drawbacks of Selenium ID. The first thing, main thing is Mozilla Firefox. It supports for only Mozilla Firefox. It doesn't support programming logic features to enhance the test cases. Okay, means with help of programming, okay, programming skills or programming language, we can't en enhance our test scripts because we have imported from the imported from, from record and playback tools. Okay. okay, it doesn't support the data driven testing. If you want to test the data against your application, okay, so it is not supported. It is not supported for the complex test case designs also. And we don't have any centralized object like uh, centralized maintenance objects like page object model, okay, POM, those things, and Selenium RC. So we don't need to talk about these things because it is outdated, okay. And Selenium web driver. So uh, Selenium web driver that is uh, currently what we, we are using, okay. It is a programming inter interface to create and execute the test cases, okay. Selenium IDE has IDE but doesn't have a programming interface. Selenium WebDriver has a programming interface but doesn't have an IDE. That is IDE means Integrated De Development Environment. Okay, separate IDE okay. tool. So with the help of Eclipse, we will develop our Selenium scripts. Okay, so Selenium WebDriver supports again uh, we have the it supports for multiple languages and supports for the multiple operating systems and browsers as well. Selenium, uh, drawbacks of Selenium browser is, Selenium uh, web driver is, it doesn't generate uh, detailed uh, test reports. So for these things we have to use some uh, extent reports. Okay, and here also we don't have some centralized maintenance of object elements. And coming, to the, uh, coming back to the last one that is Selenium grid. Selenium grid is used to execute the test across the multiple browsers, operating environments and machines in parallel. Okay, it is used to it is used for cross browser testing or uh, executing testing uh, like when you want to execute uh, test cases on parallel basis. At that time, you can go. Selenium two supports Selenium grid two supports Selenium RC tests as well as Selenium web driver. Okay, as we see in here. Selenium 2, it is supported, it is integrated and supports the Selenium ID, Selenium RC, web driver and grid. Okay. Yeah. So these are all the basic introduction about the Selenium. Okay. So let us uh, change back the, change back to the shift. So here what we do, we will learn about how do we set up an environment for the Selenium web driver. Already uh, we have seen few of the things, but let us uh, see by in the document. So first thing you have to download the JDK for it. You have to install the JDK. So how do you install your JDK using? Uh, you have to navigate to the JDK website here. JDK just type in the Google. Just type JDK download. Okay. Okay. So you will be navigated to the website here. Uh, click on the first link or uh, JDK download. Okay, you can download it and you can uh, select your versions, whatever you want. We okay. have already downloaded it from uh, Eclipse, no? Yeah, it's okay, fine. Necessary. That's uh, if, it is, if you have downloaded it, okay, it's okay, no issues, okay. If you have not downloaded it, you can uh, navigate to this website and you, you can choose your the operating system and you can download it the respective one. And it is a exe file, okay, so you okay. can just uh, click on install those things. Okay? okay. So once you have downloaded your uh, JDK, then you have to set the path. Sometimes in in Windows 10, okay, the path will be automatically set. You don't need to set, and uh, you have to download Ex Eclipse as well as what we are seeing now, Eclipse. Mm. Okay. So we have worked uh, on Java also on the same thing. Okay. Mm. So you can download the Eclipse from this link. Okay, or you can uh, just type in the Google Eclipse meters and you can download from there. You can download from here in the website when you type it. So the first link appears, you can download here. Um, 
Sixty-five is now downloaded before. That's fine. Okay, so you can download from uh, here. Now, let us see a few further things. So, as you, so let's uh, see how you will create a project and those things. Okay. okay. So yesterday uh, we are about to create a project, but uh, due to some issues we didn't create it. Let us try to uh, do do it now again. So we have to click uh, select the we have to navigate to the Eclipse. And we have to select a file, new, and a project. Here we are trying to create a Maven project. Okay? okay. So click on the Maven project and click on the create as a simple project. Check out this one and come back to here. Enter your project name in the artifact ID. Okay? Enter the project okay. name in the artifact ID. This is your project name in the artifact ID and group ID is in the thing video package name. Okay. Just click on finish. So after some time after building this, you can see it will be started building these things. Once it is done, okay, so you can able to see the, all the features that are available here. Okay, it is done. Now you can see here all the things are available here. Now there is a uh, one pom.xml file where it contains all your dependencies okay all the packages that you want to add so i have already uh, created these things in my local system so i will just uh, copy the things whatever i have it here so navigate to the eclipse and paste it here make sure all the dependencies are present in the dependencies itself Okay, so where you can download these dependencies means in the Maven repository, right? Maven repository. So in the Maven repository, if you in Google, if you, if you try to type Maven repository, okay, the first thing, just click on this link and here type the respective dependency that you want to download. So now I want, now I want Selenium server. So I will type Selenium server. Okay, the first one approaches here. Selenium server. Click on this and click on the latest version that you want to download. Okay, and you can see this dependency. Copy this dependency to the pom.xml file in the put it in the dependencies. Okay. So in the same way, you have to download for the Java, Selenium Java as well. So you have to download Selenium, Selenium Server as well as Selenium Java. Okay. If you scroll down here, you can see you can able to see here Selenium Java also. So match the same version 3.141.51. Find it, copy and paste these things here. Okay. Now you are almost ready. So now you need the some drivers to execute the things so just uh, create a new folder and uh, say it as a browser of course drivers finish okay okay fine we almost uh, done it So now go back here to website and if you want to run your Chrome browser, okay, if you want to automate your Chrome browser, you have to download the Chrome driver for this, okay. In the Google, just type Chrome driver here, Chrome driver, download. So the first link appears up here, click on this and so I have the different versions, okay, for the Chrome versions. So you have to match your chrome version okay with the chrome driver so for that what you have to do you have to get your chrome version so for that you have to go back to your uh, click on these three dots and go back to help and click on the about google chrome okay click on the about google chrome once you click on it you will get the version here okay you will get the version 90.04430 
So download this. So when you click on this, you will be navigated to the different website and you have to select based on your locator systems. If you are using uh, Linux, you can choose this. If you are using Mac, you can choose this one. And if you are using Windows, choose this 32 bit and click on this to download. So your file will be downloaded now. So what you have to do now, you have to wait till this download is completed and you have to extract the files in it. Okay, there will be only one file that is uh, chromedriver.exe file will be there. Okay, you have to extract that and just do extract, extract here. Just so you can see the chrome driver dot uh, exe is uh, generated here okay so i think not here um let just let me uh, extract once more okay it is extracted here okay so click open this folder and you can see chrome driver dot exe just right click and copy that and come back to your Eclipse and right click on the browser drivers and paste it there ok you can see the browser is uh, thing is pasted here chrome driver.ex ok now what you can do ok so you are almost set it up now you can run your automation for the Chrome browser, so you have to write the scripts for that. So in the SRC main Java, okay, create one new package. Okay, one create a one new package, saying demo. Okay, demo. So here inside this, create one more class. Okay, create a class saying Chrome browser launch. Chrome browser launch and select the mine method. Okay. So once you selected the mine method, okay. Now what we can do? You have to set the variables paths for that. Okay. You have to set the paths for that. So let us try to do that now. So uh, currently, what I am doing here. Here I have given a string, okay. Here I have given a string, okay, where my URL is stored, okay, where my URL is stored, okay. So if uh, I want to navigate to this URL, so this URL is nothing but the web page, okay. So it will navigate to the YouTube things. So it will be navigated to the YouTube website. Okay. My YouTube mm -hmm. website will be it will be navigated. Okay. So now here I have defined some uh, web driver dot some web driver dot chrome driver and some path is here here. Okay. So this is nothing but the path where you want to where you are uh, type of the browser that you are passing. Okay, so I am currently using my Chrome browser. So I have specified here webdriver dot Chrome dot driver. So I am specifying type of the browser to launch and where the respective driver is present. So I have to pass the location here. Okay, means okay. the location of Chrome driver dot exe where I copy pasted. So how do you get that uh, path? Means right click on the Chrome driver dot exe here and go to properties and you can see here okay you can get this you can directly copy this thing and copy and paste it here okay so copy and paste it here now I am getting 
so what I have to do now, I have to create a web driver interface. Web driver, driver equal to okay, driver equal to new Chrome driver. Okay, web driver web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. Because uh, I have given, okay. Let us let me try this. Okay. So here I have launched my browser. Okay. So here you have to specify the browser that you are uh, browser driver that you are launching. Okay. Here you are. You are, uh, you are specifying the type of the browser. Okay, here you have to specify type of the browser actually you want to launch with the driver option. Okay, so if it is a Firefox browser, then you have to specify Firefox driver. Okay, if it is a Chrome browser, you have to specify Chrome driver. Okay, so currently I am using Chrome browser, so I have to use, I have specified the Chrome driver. And you can see driver dot get URL. So actually here you are, you need to pass the URL. Okay. So here you need to pass the URL like this. Okay. You have to pass the URL like this. Okay. And this is the one way you can do or else you can define it a variable using storing in a variable. So I'm storing this in a variable. My address is stored here. Okay. So finally, I am moving to that, uh, navigating to that YouTube website. I am clicking on that uh, video play button. Okay. I am clicking on the, clicking on the play button of that video. Okay. So let me run this application. So if I, so right click, run as Java application. So you can see Chrome driver was started successfully. You can see the options here. So, but uh, unsuccessfully we didn't get it. But uh, let me see what happened. So the version of the Chrome driver only is supported Chrome driver 91 now. Did we download 91? Yes. So we have to download mm -hmm. the Chrome driver 90. So that's our mistake. So the, let us re-download it. So go back here, delete these things. Delete the. What is it saying? Delete. Sometimes it doesn't allow us to delete. Okay, at that time, what you have to do? You have to do control. Control Alt. So, on the task manager, and you have to end the browser. So, here you have to, you can see that Chrome driver.exe is running here. Okay, you have to select that. Okay, Chrome driver.exe. So you have to select that and you can end task. Okay, if you end the task, right click and delete. See it is deleted. Okay, now go back to uh, your browser, show in folder, open the download, extract to your website, uh, your folder, go open that folder, copy that and paste it in the browser options. So make sure that you will update the exact path here. 
So mm. right now I I paste I have pasted in the same folder. So that's why I didn't need I don't need to change. Okay, I'm make sure everything is correct with the name as well. Okay. Okay. Now run it once again. Yep, my browser got open, and it is navigating to the URL. Okay, it is navigating to the URL, and you can see. Yeah. So it got played also. Okay. 